Let me tell you something, kids. Back in my day, you get a burger and fries from Fat Burger for $2.95. Now inflation, shit ain't the same no more. You know what I'm saying, Zach? It really isn't. You ever thought about hitting that with some soul glow? Just Just a little bit, but you know, with the skyline seats, don't want to get too much drip on them bridge, you feel me? I feel you. If you think Gary should be rocking some jerry curls, comment below. We're here today, back at beautiful Irwindale Speedway, and the temperature, thank God, is below 95 degrees. So the grundle butter, it's about an eight on scale today. I like that, you know, whatever the big man upstairs is doing with this thermostat he got going on, because uh, if y'all kids haven't been watching and seeing me, I've been sweating like, a man in a slaughterhouse. And today, no sweat, just, this is just grease. You know what I'm saying? That's preparation for the perspiration. Mm -hmm. We've got a gentleman here today who uh, has been at, uh, I guess he was at our last Burnyard event. He put it down and you know what? Uh, he's got a little something classic for us. So we figured we'd invite him out and have him smash. What up dog? Hi, how How's you doing? Going, <laughs> Damn. You know the deal. Introduce yourself to the people here. Uh, my name is Nick Gomez, uh, auto underscore motives on IG. Oh, you gotta <laughs> throw out that IG tag? <laughs> and what have you brought us today? Uh, it's a 72 Datsun Located at the convention center right here, there's a, uh, a forecast of uh, Freddy with a uh, possible chance of Hoonig. Let's take it out to the field. Check with Ron. That's right. It appears we have lost lab coat Ron in the field due to high sendage. Anyway, here's how you enter. Head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Hoonigan. Sign up, get one of their monthly subscriptions. Then head over to hoonigan.com slash DSC, fill out your information, prove that you signed up for DSC, and you will be entered to win. Every single entry gets a gift bag. Top three entries get the prizes. Yeah, and if that was hard for you to understand, basically click the links below. They're all there. And, uh, oh, did I just expose our set? 1972 Datsun 510. First of all, I would like to comment on this hood situation you got here. Is this even a hood? Yeah, part of a hood. It's like a, <laughs> a bonnet. It's like a. That's it, what? It's That's like a, a visor. <laughs> you pretty know? much, pretty much a visor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what what's the deal with this thing, man? How long you had it? Like, tell tell us some backstory on it. I pretty much I've had this thing since I was 18. Okay. I've um, had it for 13 years now, and pretty much just learned everything. Like I used to drift it with the L series, not drift it well, but drift it with an L series in it and then did a K swap from a 89 240SX. What made you go single cam and not the twin cam? Cheap. Mm -hmm. I got a big motor trans wiring harness for 150 bucks back in the day. Dang! Back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, yeah. So how long is back no in the day? That was a long time ago, man. man. <laughs> they, they used to, and it, honestly, it was just cheap and honest. I kind of like the way it looks better than a dual cam. It, it, it's just clean though. Yeah, nice. yeah, and it's like the manifold situations, you know what I mean? It is this all stock? It, it's all just stock. It's rebuilt, uh, intake and exhaust, and that's it. <laughs> What do you have as far as motor mounts? Is those stock too? Those are uh, the two stock 240 motor mounts and 620 Datsun pickup rubber mounts. And then, okay. And the, but the cross member is modified. So okay. it's like the motor mounts are actually chopped so that the motor would sit a little lower, but appropriately, because you have to do that to do that with these cars. Usually what they do is the, you see out of the four bolts, you would just use the two lower holes with the two upper holes. So we didn't want to do that. We wanted to make sure it was in there nice and tight. So we just cut them and chopped them down a little bit. So okay. do you plan on staying KA? Or are you going to go SR or no, just keep it as K, is? man. I would like to go. It'd be cool to do some kind of forced induction, but uh, I really like NA, man. You know? When I first put it in, I had 200,000 miles on it. And it dynoed at 125 at the wheels, One, which 
that's good for a car with 200,000 miles, and now it's rebuilt, so... Well, hold on. Let me just put something out there, because uh, obviously when you hear that number, 125 horsepower at the wheels, right? <laughs> that doesn't sound like shit. <laughs> but, but, stock Miatas? Our stock Miata wasn't even putting down 100 at the wheels before we uh, grenaded that 1.6, and that thing was still buggy. <laughs> so, I mean, this... I'm assuming is a pretty light car because there ain't nothing to this thing, and, and the, it's the size of a go kart. These actually come with uh, their 96 horsepower stock, so healthy, straight off the showroom floor, 96 horsepower. So that's a definite, and it dynoed uh, 125 at the wheels, 135 foot pounds of torque. Okay, that's, so that's, that's pretty even. That's for, good. Yeah, for 200, and that was 200,000 miles leaking oil. You know what I mean, like. So I hope it's better now that it's rebuilt, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. So walk us through some other stuff, man. Suspension, what, what do you got goodies-wise um, on this thing? This thing is 280Z struts in the front because you have better calipers, standard calipers. They actually narrow the track width too, so I was able to fit bigger wheels. These are uh, 16 by 8 mm -hmm. and I was able to... I'm sorry, 15 by 8 and I was able to fit them. The fenders are rolled, but I was able to fit them better than stock. Okay. So that's uh, 280Z struts. Um, custom coilovers, Volkswagen Rabbit strut inserts, like completely. I built this thing back when you couldn't just buy coilovers mm -hmm. for it, you know? So is this like the 240 where you have to chop the lower half to get uh, everything on? Yeah, pretty much, okay. pretty much. Not the, not just the lower half, you could just chop up the tube and get rid of the spring perch, but pretty much. For, for you kids that point, don't know. Point some stuff out, yeah. <laughs> 240Z, not 240 Oh, okay, SA. there you go, yeah. That way they can know. Yeah, there you go, Sorry there you for go. interrupting my good Oh, man. no worries, like, the more you know. <laughs> as far as rear rear axle, that, rear axle, it's pretty much stock, just welded, welded diff. Okay. Uh, the coilovers are actually off of a circle track car. Ooh, really? I found that it was a junkyard where had old race cars, and I took them off there and made some mounts and fit them up. You got some you welded All on metal, man. This is metal. This is a sturdy ass car. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I like. Yeah, the told Oh yeah, that that was that's that was actually out of a, a 800 horsepower drag Civic. And I, I used to have a small block Chevy connecting rod in the front and my, my, uh, my dad's buddy had a race Civic and he's like, dude, I need you to put this on your car for a tow hood. And it's legit. Look I mean, how it's... tiny that thing is. <laughs> you, can see, you can see why it's mine now and not his. It's uh -huh. all chewed on right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like these tail lights. I recall Hertz saying that the only way you can make it to a real drift event is if you have clear tail <laughs> on a white car. Right, mm -hmm. right. I, this is a white car with clear... Do these come like this or you have to no, make those? No, they're on eBay. Okay. I, found, I got lucky. There was a guy in like Argentina or something that was selling them. And yeah, random dude. And I bought, I got a set and I was like, I have to have these because I love all clear everything. I like, I like this too, the little Solex. Yeah. Man, you got all the little, the, the <laughs> precautionary hey, things to get their car not stolen pre-1980. Right. True. Oh, oh God, the cup holder though? <laughs> or is that that? Oh, that's a cup holder, yeah. Okay. Uh, Lonely Driver makes those. Well, they made those for a 510. And you wouldn't believe how beneficial, how much you would love a cup holder when you have a car that doesn't have one. Bro, you know bro, I, mean? I ain't got cup holders in my <laughs> truck. No cup holders. Man, no cup holders <laughs> in the skyline, so oh, we yeah. all on the same boat. Right, right. I mean, no cup holders on the bike. <laughs> Do bikes are there bikes with cup holders? Oh, man, come on, you know, there's some old dudes with gold their baggers wings. and gold wings and shit that we have in an espresso. <laughs> all right, what else? Look at this. This shifter is uh, quite long, and yeah. That's, that's not even the good one. Uh, I have a Mr. Grip shifter. And uh, he's a, good, a dude that makes custom shift knobs. And that one's 12 inches tall. He had me one that was 15 inches tall. You need but all I that? I actually broke it here <laughs> when I came to slide. I came in, and as soon as I hit the corner, it just flung. <laughs> oh, man. Dingo shift knob in there, <laughs> <Yeah>. my guy. <laughs> hey, it, it, you know what? Paired, it has a, a ISR short shifter, okay. and it's perfect. I love it. It just throws just right? It throws just right with that length, and I just really like having my hand up higher, Get, you know? Hot. Hop in there real quick. Can you yeah. take the yeah, yeah, take the steering wheel off. I always have easier. to take the steering wheel off. <laughs> I can't. I just got the bucket seat not too long nice ago. Nice ass NRG quick release. You got, <laughs> of course. I like the course. little purple. Ooh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Watch the hair. Oh, hold on. Okay. That ain't bad, man. The seat's actually I mean, mounted seat farther about the. It's an energy carbon bucket. Really? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that fitment, though. Right? <laughs> NRG, y'all making some great products now for the big. <laughs> so for all y'all that don't know the size, I'm six two three something. And I'm cozy in here, like. And I mean, what I actually did. Throw the, throw the wheel on, real quick. I don't have. Oh yeah, there you yeah, go. You gotta. I mean, you gotta you get the, the full, full effect. effect. Ooh, all right. 
Oh, oh yeah. yo, that does feel nice. It feels, dude, it's a lot better. And it's, I, on, I recently on. went you to see this, this one. this man <laughs> got a skateboard wheel. That's the Volkswagen lever. Right oh, there. man, yeah, dude, that's, that's, dude, everybody in Baja was rocking those on their uh, Volkswagen. <laughs> Is that a thing? That's a thing, Yeah, apparently. Volkswagens are really happy. Actually, wait. Wheel. Scumbug. No, Scumbug has a wheel on it. Yeah, it doesn't have a skateboard wheel, but it's got a wheel. Yeah. But Gary, I want to stay in there real quick. I want to point something out. This is something I dig. Look at this speaker setup. Yo, uh, do you have a radio? I actually, want to, I actually do. It's just a four channel Bluetooth amp underneath the seat. Oh, oh so yeah. And, and I just wireless? use my phone and yeah, dude. And, and actually I wanted to show you something with that. That That is what I call my command center where the speakers are. Uh -huh. I got rid of my heater core. And most people with 510s, they mount their ECU on the kick panel or the glove box. So I actually mounted it in there. All my fuses and my relays are that those open and all my stuff's inside there hidden and away. Damn, you know? smart. All right. What gauges are you running in here? That's actually, that's just a GPS Beetle off eBay that I okay. got for like 30 bucks. Um, you know, of course, a, a Sun Pro Tac, but this is actually a boat gauge. A boat? That's, that's off of a boat. Uh, I like the stock look of the dash, so I was like, how can I retain that and have all the vitals, you know? Man, you got... You got AC? No, that's just the heater. All I, right, I we're actually, done here. We're done? Here, we're take, done. The, yeah. <laughs> take this camera, my boy. I gotta manage to get out of here. Yeah. Hell yeah, I can dig I like this. like the flavor of this, man. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? It's that time. Wait a minute. Skirt. What's up with the Parrot Bay? You, it's the, the Parrot Bay combo. Coconut, yeah, I see color that. Color combo is what got me. Okay. And then I did, they, these are all custom fenders, cut these. Uh -huh. uh, I cut them and my buddy welded them and these are actually the uh, my turn signals and running lights. Yeah, yeah those are nice. Okay. Appreciate Respect. It. This, is, this is very yeah. tasteful. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> dude, this is actually super cool, man. Like, I, I dig this. Normally, you know, this isn't really my steez, no. uh, but I, I, I can oh, dig this. This comes off, too. That's did it's you have to make that? Yeah, it's Lexan from Home Depot. What? Neodymium magnets, and I just wanted to. I like the like Shakatong Kaido Racer look. It looks so like a Hako from the front. That's and that's what this is a Japanese Bluebird grill. So I okay. wanted to make a cover for it. Like, racing jacket is what they're called. So wait, what would you call it? Uh, a ha uh, in Japan, uh, they have a skyline called a Hako Suko. So this in Japan is a Bluebird, and here it's a Datsun 510. So they kind of resemble each other. If you see it from a distance, but when you get closer, it's like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's like when you see, uh, who was that, Janet? And the other girl, Latoya. Oh, uh, okay, I got you, got you. Some of y'all are too young for that <laughs> to understand. Well, so you're gonna haka suka that thing under the uh, trailer or what? Just and just so you don't get roasted, Hakoska. Oh, just because people, of the internet is gonna oh, be after you. Please, for that internet, one. please spare me. <laughs> y'all know what to do. <laughs> anyway, let's see this thing party. <laughs> Fender action. So I'm talking about. Ain't nothing to it. The metal's the easy part. Did he break those tail lights he got from Argentina? Nope. I need I need that muscle just. You know what I'm saying? Get you some. Use that 125 horsepower, baby.
Bass a rap! No, no, no! From the Grundle! Bass a rap! Damn!